welcome to tech tutorial today i am going to show you how to restore the database in the sql server in mac machine so my in my previous video i have uh, given demo how to install sql server in mac machine using docker so yeah, i have given the url in the description you can go through that and after you install you will be seeing the database in here the, this databases i have connected to localhost okay now i am going to install a, a back a restore the database from backup for this i am going to use adventureworks database from microsoft so you can just google it adventure database and go to date so download backup files you can download the oltp in case you are not sure what needs to be used and that they saying they have written it here okay now i'm going to use the uh, adventure works database 22 20, 2022 backup okay just click and download and it will download once this is downloaded find the file in the downloads folder the adventures 2022 backup then first uh, we have the Azure Studio. So go to the localhost, the server name, double click, and it will open up the uh, localhost menu. There you can see the data uh, restore. When you click restore, you can see it restore from database and database destination. So you can select for backup file. So this backup file, uh, we need to select the backup file path. This path, we need to inst copy the file into the container. So in order to do that, open terminal in Mac machine. You can use command space. Okay. Then this is, we have installed the SQL server previously. Then I'm going to use some commands. And currently my database backup file is in the downloads folder. So what I'm going to do is I will make that folder as the my terminal source folder i'm going to use two commands to make install this install this uh, i'm going to in, copy the files from my downloads folder to the container so in order to do that i have the commands here i have given the same commands in the description dr exe sql server sql server is the my container name so I, you can see it here go to your doctor desktop and go to container you can see this name whatever name you have given you can give it the name there and i again go back to the downloads folder and i'm moving creating a directory inside where opt in a sql backup you can done okay it got created now I am going to copy the file from my docker to backup file. So for this demo I have used this adventure this one. So I am going to replace this with this command cp then the backup file. The SQL server is the name of my container and the source lo destination location. Now go to here terminal and enter okay so it will ask the access folder click ok if you already provide access it won't ask again okay. now it is copied now when i go to azure studio then click restore so currently you have installed the copied the backup file into the path where of ms sql backup so you try to find the same path here select files backup file and click three, three dot in the over here so you can see where opt backup you can see the file which we copied just from our local to the container now click ok and it will ask the database already came and you just select here in the checkbox click restore once you restore then database is ready so you just refresh it 
I think we have see got some error. You can see what is the error. Okay, actually uh, this version uh, 2022 is not compatible with the server. So what I'm going to do is I'll just go again and I will download the 2019 backup. So the time of uh, downloading this looks like uh, my my SQL version the image uh, it does not support 2022 so i am using 2020 90 sorry 2019 now now it is downloading you can see the progress it is having total of 208 mp uh, depending upon your download speed it will be quick okay then i am going to repeat the same step again so i am going to the download folder so it is now just 2019 then go to the terminal folder i will copy this 2019 to the same location since i have created the directory i'm just using 2019 okay so it's copied now i will go to the azure data studio restore i'm going to select backup file and same path backup i'm going to use 2019 click ok then make sure you are having this selected and selected since it's preview option preview preview uh, operation preview this azure data studio this restore is preview they are yet to uh, make it public so there might be some scenarios where this won't work properly i just uh, check and check and check and click restore it's restored succeeded now so now go here and you can see the adventure works 2019 database and the tables you can just click from new query and select adventures and select store from database log you can run all sql queries here you can see the tables values everything and that's all for today thank you you can subscribe and click bell icon to get latest videos in the notification thank you